there's one meerkat nearby who doesn't have the luxury of group protection. Tosca's very much on her own. She's been shunned by the whiskers for so long that it's likely she'll never be allowed to join her family again. Her solitude is final. The only way she can stay alive is by starting a group of her own. But first, she needs to find an unrelated roving male for a mate. Perhaps her luck is about to change. Carlos, a roving male from the Lazuli group, has spent a lot of time hanging out close to the whiskers in recent months, and he always has a partner on his mind. For Tosca, this could be her ticket to a new life. For Carlos, this looks like an opportunity too good to miss. As the whiskers settle down for the night, they're in the dark about what the neighbors are up to. But they do know there's a storm brewing. As darkness falls, they make for the security of the sleeping chamber. The bad weather continues through the night and well into the morning. Storm events are rare in the Kalahari, but when they hit, they hit hard. The Lazuli have weathered the storm in one of the Whiskers burrows and have remained undetected by Flower's gang. In fact, they're making themselves quite comfortable. Are the Whiskers in for trouble? As the sun breaks through, the whiskers are in high spirits. The favorite teenage sport of play fighting is in full swing. Columbus is more interested in what the older members of the group are up to than playing with his siblings. But at a quarter of their size, he's far too small and vulnerable to join in. He's gonna have to stick with parsley, basil, and rose for the time being. The Osarian, an eight-year-old, fully grown adult, doesn't have that problem. He's seen plenty of action in the past. When he was a pup, he was attacked by a bird of prey. He managed to escape, but he was left with a big scar over his left eye. He fancies getting in on the entertainment. For meerkats, play fighting is a way of practicing their combat skills. The Osarian is big and strong and a useful ally to have around when it comes to battles with enemy groups, like the Lazuli. He tries to join in the teenager's game, but they're much more interested in playing with their peers. Outcast once again, he heads off alone, making the Whiskers one man down. With her precious pups above ground, Flower's keeping a careful eye out for danger. She knows that it'll soon be time to take them out foraging. Having successfully brought up two of her own litters this year, this healthy third litter have the potential to do just as well. But with the dangers that the Kalahari holds, for now, the safest place for the youngsters is to stay at the burrow. As the rest of the group set out on today's forage, Flowers' four young pups are left behind in the company of Shakespeare. They couldn't be in safer hands. Shakespeare always takes his babysitting responsibilities seriously. He's one of the most vigilant and brave meerkats in the group. So far, Everything seems calm.
It's not long before the whiskers are disturbed by something. What could make the group so edgy? A vulture flies overhead. Judging by the number of them, it's likely that a big game animal has been killed, and the scent has attracted them. With the skies clear, the gang of foragers, led by Flower, take a breather from their search for food and spend some time relaxing in the sun. As they're all facing in the same direction, their backs aren't covered. But everything seems tranquil and they're in no rush to return home. Shakespeare hasn't got time to enjoy the sun. The lazuli are heading his way. He sensibly leads his little charges into the burrow for protection. The lazuli start war dancing towards him. They mean business. Even though parsley, basil, rose and columbus are underground, they are not out of danger. At least in Shakespeare, they have a strong and experienced adult male to protect them. But if the Lazuli are determined to take this piece of Whiskers territory, then Shakespeare will have to fight them off alone. His only hope is for Flower and the rest of the family to get back in time to see off the intruders. But the foraging party are completely unaware of the peril facing Shakespeare and the precious new litter. Underground, Shakespeare's keeping the pups close. Flower begins to slowly lead the foraging party home, but will she make it back in time? As Big Sigh enters the burrow, things are looking desperate for Shakespeare. If necessary, Shakespeare will defend the pups with his life. Next time on Meerkat Manor, will Flower return home in time to save Shakespeare and her precious pups from the Lazuli? And will Casanova Carlos stay by Tosca's side?